Hello Africa, hello world. I'm sorry about the delay there. I was having issues with my internet. But um, Oliver, I loved your moves. I see you got entered. I can't see anyone else, but that was awesome. Great to see. It's a beautiful Monday. Hi, Antoinette. Nice to see your camera on. And yeah, we've dropped in numbers, eh? Uh, I think everyone's waiting for David's uh, meeting, which is happening in two hours or just under two hours from now. But yeah, they won't be missing too much because today is our final day of our boot camp. And um, Internet, I can say that you have done a great job. Uh, thank you for tagging me in on what you're up to. That's awesome. And I think you are going to be doing fantastically. And anyone else, um, I'm going to... You can obviously go through the boot camp, see if there's anyone else that's messaged me, but um, or tag me in. If you've done your welcome videos, um, Antoinette said she's done it, but uh, after four takes, but it's not the one she wants to use. But that's fine, you know, you're getting the practice going. So today, um, as I said, it's literally the last day, and there's one more thing that I'm wanting to share with you all. And let me just make sure check my to-do list yeah okay so day five the final day is mailchimp email campaigns um i've got all the links here so mailchimp you'll be able to what they offer is solutions and services email marketing you can send personalized emails that convert into leads I have social media marketing amplify the conversation across multiple channels Websites, create your branded web presence, audience management, target and segment um, customers, and then marketing, automation, delivery, the right message at the right time, and templates, customized, pre-designed layouts, reporting, analytics, track sales, and com campaign performances, content creation, develop your unique brand with optimized content, and see all features, see all product offerings in one place. Okay, so I want to say well done on sticking to the boot camp right to the end, all of you. If you have not had a chance to complete all your tasks, please set a time aside to do them. Remember, if it's going to be, it's up to me. And the group will be there for you to go back um, to complete your various tasks and watch the videos. And I also do apologize for posting day four's video only this morning i had to move in a hurry <laughs> okay i think you can see my background's a little bit different but now i'm up in the air and I, i've got an ocean view over there and over there and over there which is pretty cool and i'm you know looking above the rooftops um so i've been really busy <laughs> okay um and please today is where i asked you to do your one minute to, um testimonial uh, can I have a show of hands? Thumbs up. Who's done it? Bad, 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 bad people. All in the naughty corner. All of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. You've got time. Um, I was just hoping that I could hand in a whole lot of testimonials today. But you know what? Um, the group is there when you're ready posted or you can you know if you've got me on whatsapp or telegram you can send it to me over there all right um all right and then you can obviously use big view or just record one on your mobile and speak from the heart when you do it and then don't forget to create the content on canva and share it to all your social media platforms continue to add like-minded friends on facebook and linkedin i've just got to remind everyone to do that and continue to share your posts, um, your updates to Facebook as well. Um, and then yes. listen to the affirmations and say them out loud every day. And then just mm, congratulations. I'm really proud of each and every one of you that took part in this. But I just want to show mm -hmm. you quickly. Um, I think MailChimp is, um, is global. Let's close this out. And once again, I'm not sharing my screen. Right. Okay, so you go to MailChimp. MailChimp.com. 
Um, I think because I'm in South Africa, it's giving me South African pricing. Okay, so when you go, so basically everything is on the, the form that I'll share at the end of the meeting. Turn emails into revenue. Now, why I say this is free, once again, I'm all about using free content or free tools um, out there, you know, until we really get, um, until you really get familiar and comfortable with what you're doing, why not use the free um, tools? So if you have got a thousand or less email contacts, MailChimp is free. Anything over a thousand, it will be obviously charged. Now I have used this in the past. I must be honest, I have not used it for Car Up Inc. But there you go, you have free. So it says, it's asked you, yeah. Okay, why is it not asking you that now? Okay, oh, how many contacts do you have? If you say 500, there's free. The minute you go to one and a half or two and a half thousand, all of a sudden, it's not free anymore because you you only have a thousand free contacts. That, that, but you know what? If you're starting off, I think it's really affordable. I wonder if one of you could maybe log into Co-op. Uh, I mean, Mailchimp. <laughs> log into Co-op every day anyway. But lo log into Mailchimp.com and tell me if it is available in your country and if they're charging you in dollars or if it's rands and what have you. Because I did try and Google it, and because it's a .com, I would have thought that it is international. And a lot of the emails I used to send out was international, but I'm not sure if it is an international product that you can use. So can somebody just let me know in the chat or just unmute yourself and let me know. So these are the prices if you're in South Africa. Um, so to, let's see, we've got one and a half thousand contacts. Oh, okay, so the price goes up with the amount of contacts. So there, your next step. So from 500, your free is opened. Yeah. With one and a half thousand, you, it would now be 185 rand a month for 12 months. And you can, you got your different options there. Let's see if you had a hundred thousand. Ah, okay. So that's how the price goes up. And there's obviously specials on all their pricing at the moment. But, you know, I don't think unless you're a, like if a network marketer, you've normally got about 500 to about 2,000 contacts. So you would not be paying more than 275 in a month. And then you can create, um, once you log in and everything, you can create campaigns that help you to set up. You can put your own logo and branding on there. You can have, a, it's got an unsubscribe button as well. It sends out a first email where, you know, you're asking people to subscribe and like give you the thumbs up for them for um, them to receive your content. And if they unsubscribe, um, so what MailChimp does is they clean, you know, and they make sure that everyone is happy. Because of the Poppy Act, you cannot just send people emails randomly for business. Things have really been, you know, it's changed a lot now. So you have to always give the person an option to opt out. But MailChimp will do that in the email. Go ahead, Antoinette. Unmute. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I was. I did pull up the MailChimp, and what was it that you were wanting to know? If it's in your it. country, like if if it's not just a South African product, and when you go to price. Yes. Okay, yes, it is. It, it is for the United States. It is uh, for the zero for uh, for the free. And then uh, the essential is like $13 a month. And then the standard is $20 a month. And then the premium is three fifty a month. Oh, okay. And yes. that's for contacts up to 500. You get the free. Yes. Okay. So it's the same. It was just because yes, it's the same. Yeah, it's showing me in rands. Okay, well, I'm glad. I was like thinking I'm going to be giving this um, you know, lesson, and I don't know if it's for everyone, <laughs> but I'm glad. And you know, a lot of people I find I get a lot of emails and um, people marketing to me using Mailchimp, and there's some really nice content that they put together. So there's now why I'm showing you this at the end is because 
you had to first become familiar with creating content, creating nice images and pictures and what have you, become comfortable with doing video. And now you can take your knowledge and also creating content using ChatGBT. So now you can start doing email campaigns. All right. And just follow the steps because when you log in and you say, what do you want to do? Go through it. It is free. And once you like start amping up, it's really quite affordable for the two, two and a half thousand contacts, you know. Um, and you just never know. You just never know who you're going to reach and who might just sign up. So please, this is one of the things that I would suggest. You spend a bit of time in open an account. If you're wanting to do it through a business, if you've got a business registered, you can do it through that as well. And um, yeah, so you get an email. And the last thing is before you send out the email, you can actually say, send a test to myself. So I I used to send like two or three tests to myself. And it's like, oh gosh, I forgot to put this in. I forgot to put that in. And it's not for, it's not laying right. It's not, you know, speaking the right message. So you always see like, what are my contacts going to receive when they see it? And then also go into ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT for um, subject lines, titles for email marketing. What are the best? Um, subject or titles that you can use in the subject line, the hook that's going to grab people to say, what's going on here? Um, I'm sure a lot of you receive email marketing emails and some of them are like, oh gosh, no. Um, some of them are a little bit like, I've been getting one that says, um, it's like almost dissing me. It's like, you know, making me feel so bad. It's like, you might as well put a knife into the wound and turn it. <laughs> I was like, what? That's hectic. <laughs> but anyway, it obviously works because then I wanted to read, like, what are you talking about? Um, and it was obviously to say, you're losing out on all this money. You could be joining this, that, whatever. So everyone is going to be unique. Everyone must have their own flair. But even though we are a cooperative and we're a community, we're here to share. So when you do create content, if I can encourage you to you know, share it on the boot camp and say, this is what I'm sending out, you know, say a blessing over it. Let's do that. Send it out. And then also just, you know, come back every now and then and say, this is actually working for me. That's working for me. I never got anything with this or whatever. So, you know, it's always nice to, to know, um, you know, how people are doing, what are they using? So there's all the resources that they have. Learn with MailChimp. Okay, they've also got the AR marketing tools, e-commerce, digital content, marketing automations, audience, audience management, websites, email marketing, social media, podcast series, films. There's your help center, case studies, any events that might be happening. And then you can hire an expert if you want to really get like busy with it personalized onboarding and customer success All right so that is that for today um i did say it was going to be an, a short meeting but i think you've got a lot um that you know you can work on <coughs> and i do really from the bottom of my heart i'm really really grateful for everyone that's taken the time out to join if you're watching the recording thank you um and please just you know get into the boot camp share your content, share the stuff that you're creating, you know, um, and people will get ideas because when you first do it and you look at what you first create and then you, you know, you start practicing and using the tools and what have you. And all of a sudden it's like, hey, this actually looks professional. I think I should start charging for it. You know, um, when you start getting familiar with the, um, the fonts, the different fonts in Canva and the elements and what have you. So I'm going to share my screen once more and I just want to go, through Canva, and I'm going to create a quick post, okay? Uh, yeah. All right, so I am going to create a post for all of you to share today. Create a design, and we're going to go with, let's do a Facebook landscape post. Make my screen bigger. Internet, your hand is still raised. Did you want to say something else or was that just? Okay. 
you can just unmute yourself if you want to say something. All right. So um, I said there was something that I wanted to top. So, right. And I honestly believe this. Co-op income. The only business I know that is paying us ever. Hold on. Let me let someone in the room quickly. Playing, paying us ever. Ah, I'm going to make that capital as well. Is every day one word, huh? Yeah, I think so. Okay, the only Top income, the only business I know that is paying us every day. All right, does that make sense? Does it read okay? Top income, the only business I know that is paying us every day. Anyway, if it's not right, we can fix it just now. All right, so now you go here and you choose your, I like Roboto, but obviously you guys all have your preference, uh, what's corporate. Let's try that. Pretty much the same. And it looks all right. Now we can increase the font. You can put it at an angle. Okay. How am I struggling? I always struggle <laughs> when I'm trying to show you guys something and I doesn't want to move. Um, why? That's why, sorry. I had to un click out of it because just now I had the, the purple line on the outside and on the inside. When you click out of it, click on there, and then you can just use your mouse to move into center. Right, so that's center. Um, no, that's not center. Move that again. Bigger. Okay, this is where I didn't know when I first started. So now you can highlight everything. You go to effects and you can say, right, what are, okay, firstly, um, okay, let's first decide on our font. So that's got like a shadow. I like that. Okay, you can do a lift. I don't really see the difference there. You can do a hollow. You can do a splice, which is two-toned that looks like it's hollow with a different color you can just do an outline which also looks nice depending on what colors you're using okay over here you can change the the color of your outline as well so now that doesn't look so great um but you might like it that looks she looks nice and that's our colors the purpley violety color all right so let me leave it at that color um Let's wow. see, if I change the background, so if I make it black, okay, so that's how it looks because the, it was already originally black text. But now, you see how, how it changes everything. I like black backgrounds. I just think it makes the colors pop. All right, Um, if you now change the black to white, let's see what happens. So now you've got white text with the purple background, and that also stands out. Oh. Up nicely, okay. Um, I'm, but you're gonna have to just um decide 
which which one you want. Um, but I like the black. Let's see. Let me make mm -hmm. it and mm -hmm. actually I can just go back back. Back back. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yo tengo dos. Maze, tengo dos, tengo uno, tengo dos en la oficina y los tengo hechos por la Okay. Okay. Uh, there's somebody waiting in the waiting room. Okay. Right. So you can even do a gray background, dark gray. That actually doesn't look too bad. You can do two tone. Do that. You can do pink and yellow. You can. See, but now remember, try and stick with our colors. So that actually looks nice. Carb income, I think that looks nice. The only business I know that is paying us every day. Is everyone happy, happy with that message? Thumbs up? Okay, right. But now, so what are we going to do about that? We need a call to action. You go, I always just say heading and then change the font from there. If you would like to earn a credit at all on it, predictable ongoing passive income, ask me. You can see I didn't take typing at school. <laughs> I type with two fingers full. All right. There's your call to action. Um, we could also, now I'm like, hold on, there's effects here. What do you want to do? Maybe put a background over it. Not sure if I like that. Um, you can change the background color. We can make it blue. Hmm. I, don't know. I don't like the fact that it's rounded there. So let's see if I push it all the way to the end. See, this is it doesn't make with um with Canva, when you go out the box, it doesn't, it's only gonna print what's in the box, okay? Um, if you would like to earn a predictable ongoing passive income, I don't like that. Um, I don't like the background, so we will leave the background. All right, let me just change that. So no background. We're going to maybe go with something else. That looks nice. If you'd like to earn a predictable ongoing passive income, ask me how. But I mean, you guys can all do this yourself. We can change it there, we can make that. Yeah, I think this glitch actually works nice. You've got two options there. Blue and red, I'm going with blue one. The turquoise and purple, okay. Um, there you go, I think. I think that's nice. Cop income, the only business I know that is paying us every day. If you would like to earn a predictable ongoing passive income, ask me how. Done. Right. And now you share. That's over. And download. As I said, remember, don't change this because I started changing it in the beginning. It's set for that size because if you make it bigger, it's not going to fit and it's not going to read well on mobile and different devices when you share it to Facebook. And now you don't only have to share this to Facebook. This was just a Facebook landscape picture or image, all right? Um, you can now share it to WhatsApp status. So I am going to now go into the Facebook Quickly, I'm going to go into the group. I'm going to post it there. And then it will be ready for all of you to, to grab. Okay, download. 
you know how to save a picture here huh? on Facebook. Um, if not, I'll show you in a second. I just assume everyone knows. And you know what assume does? <laughs> assume makes an S out of you and me. Okay. Photo. Uh, day five. Day five image. All right. Add photos. Go to your downloads because that's probably where it's going to be. Okay. When you set up your account, or you can set up a separate folder. Um, and there you go. Now you post it. You're now going to post that to, let's see if it works Yeah. Save post. Hmm. Oh, I've got a pin to feature because it was homework. Save post, add Marina's group expert, edit post, delete. I think um, because um, it's in my thing, I'm not able to, to save it from here. Um, Oh, you can. So you click on the image and over here on the three dots, you go to download and you would be able to download that image. Okay. You see where I, where I went? Three dots over here on the image. Scroll down and you download. Or you can just take a screenshot of it and, you know, edit it. You just take a screenshot with your phone and then edit it until it fits right. And then you go into your WhatsApp status. Update, you add an image. Okay, I can't do, I don't think I can upload from my computer. I've never really tried. What's this? Um, new chat, new group, labels. Uh, no, can't do that. All right. Um, and that's your image. That's a call to action image. And remember, I always said when somebody posts something, like it and leave, not like it, use the heart or the caring emoji. Some people don't even know what's what, okay? So the like is just thumbs up. It's a little boring. Love is like, I love that post. Caring is like, I really care about this or you seem like such a caring person or some, you know, heartbreak, whatever. It's caring. You know, you're sending out your thoughts, whatever. And if it's funny, you're laughing at them. And this is like, wow, that's incredible. And that's something sad. And then that's very angry. All right. So those are the emojis that you have. Um, I see people just think, oh, just an emoji, an emoji. And they just start like posting angry face, angry face. You think the person's upset with someone. And it's like, meantime, they just thought it's an emoji. And they knew nothing about what the actual emoji meant. All right. So that's one option. And then I'm going to just take a flyer and see if I've um I copy this text. How's it? It can come through. Uh if I copy the text now. There you go. You find it you know um, under your projects that you've done and you can always edit the project. Okay. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna open up chat GBT and I'm just going to ask it to reword it and see what it says. Please reword this. Paste. Um, oh, and also the call to action is coming. Uh, wrong one. CA, right click. This bar gets in my way. Go away. Now I'm on editing. What's going on here? Because I was trying to move this bar. Mm. I don't know how to get rid of this editing pen now. I can't say never mind because it's not 
<laughs> it's just not letting me get rid of this pen. What did I do, man? I clicked on something. And I was trying to move. You know, when you're sharing a screen, it's got that bar. And it was in my way. Oh, no, I don't want AI collection. Um, that's a pain. I can't get out of here. Escape. Escape, 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 escape. Then stop sharing. I can't even stop sharing. <laughs> I've really, I've put myself in jail here. I don't know what I've done. Stop sharing. Try going into it. Oh, there we go. Um, I'll be with you in a sec. I just want to see if I can salvage this. All right, there we go. Um, zoom and share again. It had something to do with the sharing thingy. Okay. All right. Well, that's what I did. I stopped sharing and it fixed the problem. Oh, come on. TA. Copy. Chat GPT. Uh, Let's see what it says. Just out of curiosity. Earn a consistent passive income every day with Carp Income, the only business I'm aware of that pays us daily. Interested in creating a reliable and ongoing stream of passive income? Inquire with me for details on how to get started. That was pretty cool. So just from that little post, now we've got another post. So if you don't want to share that post, we can share this post. So every day is two words. Always get confused with certain things, which is but it's not difficult to confuse me. Um, and then I'm gonna put it in the comment here. Okay, here we go. So you guys have got it. So you can either use that or the image. All right. And that's how, so when you're playing around or you come up with a cool saying and you're like, you want to say this, but you're not quite sure if you're saying it right, um, then you change it. Okay, I need to change this, you see, every day. Oh, now it's making. So every day is two words. And... Download. Oh, not. I mean, download. I'm just going to remove this one quickly. Go to edit post. Remove. Add. And there's the correct one. So you don't have to worry. I fixed it and save. Yeah. And then the other text is obviously in the comment below. Right. I hope you enjoyed that. That was it. Just showing you. So the more you do it, the more you, you know, it's like, let me go here, create, and what you also need to do, okay, is time blocking. All right, and that's why I can tell you now, that is why most of you have not finished all your tasks because you almost feel overwhelmed. It's like, oh my gosh, there's so much information here. Where do I start? What do I do? I'm never going to get through this. What? And I'm not sure if, I, you know, if this is like your full-time gig or if you've got a job or you whatever you could be volunteering somewhere and you just don't have time what you do is you take your calendar and you say right i wake up at seven or five or twelve or whatever time you wake up so when you wake up in the morning what is it that you do so do you have a cup of coffee do you first shower do you first pray do you whatever 
and how long does that take you? And you actually put it in your so in your calendar every day. So that is my routine. So from seven to nine, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to pray. I'm going to meditate. I might go to gym, whatever the case is, block that time out. Now you know you're free from nine to 12, for example. And in that time, you have to say, I am going to now today work on my testimonial video. I'm going to work on sending out emails. I'm going to add so many people to my broadcast list. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And you have to treat this business like a job. Like say you are getting paid by a boss and you need to work your seven or eight hours a day and you're getting paid for it. Would you pay yourself? Would you employ you? You know, um, and normally the answer is no, because I'm actually twiddling my thumbs all day. I get lost in social media. I'm looking at everyone else's posts. And before I look at it, I get stuck on TikTok and YouTube Reels. And when I look again, my whole day is gone. And I've been on the phone gossiping with my best friend. And we were talking about the weekend and making plans for the next weekend. And you really weren't productive at all. And it's human nature. You know, I, the first one to say, I get distracted. And that is why you need to time block. You need to set aside time for your job. Wake up for everything. And it's going to take practice. I mean, I'm practicing, but I'm, I am preaching here, but I'm not practicing it myself. Since I moved to the coast, I used to be a late riser. I, I would be up all night until 3, 4 in the morning. And then I wake up at 10, 11 o'clock and my whole morning is gone. <coughs> Since I've been here, I'm waking up at half past 6, 7 in the morning. And it's like by 10 o'clock, I'm tired. I'm like, what's going on here? I'm actually getting to bed at a reasonable time, waking up bright and early. I feel a little bit more revived. I you know, welcome the, the day in. And I give thanks and I pray and I just, you know, listen to my affirmations. And it just makes me feel like, you know what? This is obviously working for me because I'm feeling better. So do whatever. I've got nothing against late risers or nothing against early risers. Whatever person you are, make the time you're awake, be productive or the most productive that you can. And also don't just focus on this. You need to get your mind off of things because you are going to have good days and you're going to have bad days and if you're having a bad day and you go to the office what you're going to do you're going to just get everyone because misery loves company misery breeds company so if you're in a bad mood or you've had a crappy day just take some time off go for a walk go for a jog go whatever go to the pub down the road go have breakfast whatever go and have you know get out of the environment that you're in take yourself out of that like mm -hmm, I can't handle this everything I'm doing is just like no 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 and everything's going left when I'm trying to go right just take some time off take a breather put it put it away for like an hour or two or three and say I'll get back to it but don't forget to breathe when you're having those days because this too shall pass the good and the bad it doesn't just apply to the good times or the bad times I should say because everyone says this too shall pass. But when you're having a good time, this too shall pass it as well. Because, you know, there's always a little bit of bad that comes in with the good and bad, whatever. And we need to manage it. And when it does happen, remember your affirmations. Remember to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Hold it in for five seconds and release for five seconds. And do that five times. And I promise you, it's helped me get through whatever I've been going through. My daughter told me, Mom, just breathe. Because I would start getting... And you can feel the blood boiling and you're just starting to get upset. And she's, mom, just breathe. And literally it works. It works so well. Breathing is important when you're having a crappy day. Breathe. Or when somebody's upset you, just breathe. And smile when you exhale. It's like, I'm not going to let that affect me. Take your negative vibes away from me. Thank you very much. I'm all about positive vibes and positive energy and what have you. And it just puts you in a better place, you know. Once again, if it is to be, it's up to me. So I really hope that you all um, take from this, even if it's a little bit, I know it's a lot, but take, you know, what if it's just something and as you go forward and you remember, it's like, hey, Marina showed me this or I love that and now I'm using it and look how easy it is and I remember how bad I was and now look how good I'm doing because I was there three years ago. I was clueless. 
absolutely clueless. And then somebody said, I must get onto a video and leave it. I said, no ways, I can't do that. Are you mad? <laughs> I'm not doing that. I can't. No, there's no such word as can't. It's practice. And everyone can. And I know, I do believe that you're all going to rock it. So that's it for our final day of our boot camp. And thank you once again. And then in, uh, in the next hour, yeah, just over an hour, David starts. I have no idea. He has not spoken to me about it, what this three-day thing is that he's doing. Um, he, so we're all going to be surprised to hear and see what he's got planned for the next three days. But um, he's excited. And you know what? I must give him credit because there's a lot of people. Um, I'll be with you now, Antoinette. There's a lot of people who try out different things. We all do, you know. There's all sorts of businesses and one. It's like, oh, let me try my hand at that, try my hand at that. And that last one, a friend of mine said, Marina, get into this. I said, I don't have time for anything else. No, 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 it's great. Everyone was making so much money. They started putting more and more money in and bang, the business went bang this weekend and everyone lost their money. Um, so and I'll just, it was just a reminder once again, co-op business is a great flipping business. It pays us. We just need to put in the work to get the reward, you know, and we will do very well. And I know all of you, if you apply just half of what, or like 10% of what you've learned here, yes, Tanya, you have to stay focused. You know, you cannot be distracted. And yeah, we do get distracted by shiny objects because why? We want money. But there's no get rich quick, quick scheme. It doesn't work. You know, this is not a get rich quick scheme. This is a system. It's a proven system that pays you if you do your steps. And that is register, pay, get your three people who are willing to do the same. And if you get three people and they do nothing, then find another three people. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Some people will get there sooner than others. And I invite you all to do better than me. And believe me, there are people giving me a run for my money. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And I, I want to, I want success for all of you. So that's from me. And Tanette, go ahead. And if anybody else wants to say anything, you can just unmute after Antoinette. Thank you. We can't hear you again. What happened? <laughs> she was she was great just now, and now it's gone funny again. Okay, now can you hear me? I can hear you, and you're looking beautiful, by the way. Okay, thank you. I just want to say that I appreciate what you have taken your time out to do these five days because, yes, I have a full time job and I am sitting here, have been here every day as much as I can with my camera on, participating because this is something that I really, really needed. Um, procrastination a lot of times be my thing I'm I'm distracted a lot of times because like I said I'm at work most of the time so I usually come home and try to do some things and you know with kids you get the hustle and bustle of, of everything but I take my weekends normally my Saturdays and Sundays to do what I needed to do so all of that information that I put in and showed you to look at I took time out this weekend to do that. And I'm going to continue to keep on taking baby steps and striving each and every day because this was well needed for me. And I thank you so much. I am on WhatsApp, but I never really looked into WhatsApp, like you said, as a communication tool. And I'm so grateful for all the information that you share with us this, um, this, well, today and last week. So keep up the good work on everything that you do and to help those that are not even on your team. I just thank you for sharing that information with all of us. And I'm going to take it to heart. And as David would say, I'm definitely getting busy with it. So thank you so much, Marina. Thank you, Antoinette. I really appreciate it. You know, my heart goes out to you. I really, really and truly appreciate it. I get excited when I see your post and you've tagged me in. It's like, oh, 
you know, because you're learning, learning something. And if I, as I said, if you can take just like 10% or whatever, whatever it is that you take, something out of this that I could help you grow your business, improve yourself, give you a little bit of confidence that you need to go forward and know that you can. Internet's a perfect example. She's got a full-time job and children and she's making the time to to get this to get busy with it so i'm really really happy and proud of everyone here and well done Antoinette. anyone else marina i just wanted to say at a reasonable speed i was going to say quickly like whoa, 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 but i'll talk <laughs> slower <laughs> uh you know it's fabulous that this is all recorded because truly when you're listening to someone you're so busy concentrating and trying to catch it all, you miss 90% of what you want to get. And so to be able to go back. So I know by the end of next week, I'll be a whole lot better and doing the things that you've asked us to do. Cause I see that they have, it's wonderful. It's going to work, but I couldn't catch it quite that quick. I won't blame it on being 81, you know, cause that's an excuse. No. <laughs> 81. Anyway. I, would, I would never have said it. Oh my word. I'm shocked. You look incredible. <laughs> it's it's my makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> I need that makeup artist. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. It's great. And uh, you've definitely made a difference with David's genius and your how to us. It's going to be spent two for us. Awesome. Happy to you. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you for sharing, Oliver. And also thank you for being here every day, you know, and for getting in on the, on the driving today. That was awesome. And you got the moves like Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, if that's all, let me just check the chat quickly. Um, breathe. Yep. Yeah, pixel. Um, thank you, Sonia. Appreciate it. Um, David, don't forget. Yes. Um, 12 noon. That's why I said it's in an hour hour from now uh thank you really appreciate what you spoke about and feeling and thinking can i really do it i was getting overwhelmed because it's all so new but i've been saying to myself why not me absolutely you know um as i said i knew that you're going to be overwhelmed i preempted it because that's how i felt when i first did it it was like no i can't do this and i didn't expect people to do or finish the homework but that's a boot camp everything gets pushed in quickly give you the information and now you take it in your stride but you just got to com commit to doing it you know commit to doing it and that's all i expect from you and i'll say thank you so much again marina learned a lot awesome uh marsha bell go ahead and unmute yourself oh you can talk <laughs> you're unmuted Hello, good morning. Actually, it's good morning in California time. Awesome. I'd show myself, but I'm still in my PJs. <laughs> it's it's a, almost eight o'clock here. But I just want to say thank you. I, you started uh, not that long ago, and I just admire uh, and how far you've come. I mean, in, in a little time, you've done so well. And that's just, it goes to show when you concentrate and you put your mind to what you want to do and put your shoulder to the wheel, basically, and uh, and you've really inspired me uh, as David Oliver David is my is my person that brought me in. So yeah, um, I'm just uh, I'm just really uh, excited about this, and I really like this new platform uh, with the co-op twenty, the co you know co oping the way it's it's uh, the way it graduates you because anybody can do this, anybody can afford to do this, yes. just about anyone in the world, or oh, it's easy to help somebody in the world do this. So anyway, um, but I want to thank you for your efforts and showing us a step-by-step, -step, uh, you know, plans on how to um, broadcast this and how to advertise it and how to put it out there. So uh, I certainly will be using some of it. So thank you so much, Marina. And I'm so glad it is recorded as well because uh, it's so much better when you can look at something the second and third time. Yes, I've, I'm, I'm the then. same. I'm the same. I've got to, you know, even when I'm on the meeting, I'm focusing on the chats or what have you, and I'm not getting what David's saying. So when I put out the recording, I watch it again. It's like, oh my gosh, did he say that? <laughs> Sometimes he says, you were at the meeting, didn't you hear what I said? It's like, to be honest, no, <laughs> because I was distracted. <laughs> so yes, all the videos will be in... Um, under the featured um, list so you can find it there Marsha I appreciate you and everyone thank you thank you for the kind words and we are three minutes to the hour finally we can say we finished 
within an hour, even an hour was three minutes late. So we're about six minutes early today. Thank you guys. And we'll see you at the next call. Brilliant. Right then. Goodbye. And let's get busy with it. Bye. <laughs>